Y'all all say Martin Luther King had a dream, but guess what? I am the dream. So now I need you guys to stand with me. And let me Mayor Henyard and her boyfriend, Kamal Woods, are together pulling down well over $300,000 from taxpayers, according to public payroll records, but they haven't paid their rent since August. And now their landlord says she's had enough. Initially, I, I didn't want to go on camera, but I, right now I feel like I'm at wit's end. I have nowhere else to turn. No. Janetta Hull says she considered Tiffany Henyard a friend and even did campaign work for the Dalton mayor and Thornton Township supervisor. <laughs> But things changed in 2021 when she was about to rent out this three bedroom, two bath home she owns in Dalton to a family and got a late night call from the mayor. And she's like, hey, this is Mayor Henyard. And I'm like, hi. And then she's like, I heard that you were renting your house. And I said, yeah. And I said, I, I have somebody that's moving in soon. And she says, no, they can't move in because I want it. And I'm like, excuse me? <laughs> Feeling pressured, Hull says she agreed to rent the house to Henyard and her boyfriend, Kamal Woods, who holds a six-figure job at the township. Henyard signed the original lease, and on the line asking about her job... You see here, she only put mayor um, for employment. Henyard makes nearly $300,000 as mayor and township supervisor, but is the focus of an ongoing FBI investigation for extravagant spending, questionable contracts, and using tax dollars for personal gain. Hull says things started to unravel this summer when she was forced to raise the rent by $200 to $2,400 a month because her property taxes went up again. Um, so with that, I had to equate that into the rent and Kamal said that he couldn't afford it. She says Henyard and Woods refused to pay the extra rent in August, then stopped paying altogether. Did they pay for September? No. Did they pay for October? No. And that's why you're trying to get them removed? Yes. Hull says not only are the couple thousands of dollars behind in rent, but they also changed the locks and garage door code so she can't get inside. If I pushed and go over there with the locksmith and try to um, change them back, I think that she's going to probably have me arrested. So, Hull went to court and filed an eviction lawsuit against Henyard and Woods. But Cook County sheriffs have tried and failed to serve that suit, both at the home and Village Hall. Now, Hull is paying a process server to track one of them down. What position does this put you in? <laughs> a very hard position. Um, I'm between a rock and a hard place. Um, I haven't worked in several months, and I am fearful that I may lose the house. She says Henyard blocked her months ago, but with all the controversy surrounding Henyard's spending of tax dollars, she wants to send the mayor a message. At some point, you would have to understand that karma is going to catch up to you. Just pay your rent. She says even if Henyard and her boyfriend come up with the money, she still wants them out of her house, which is on a month-to-month -month lease. Well, look, Tiffany Henyard, you saw that picture of Tiffany. Very, very interesting. The hair wasn't done up, no, little if no makeup at all. A lot less glamorous than she has been, right? And I think that's a sign that because she no longer has access to the Dalton credit card or the Thornton credit card, I think that we're seeing Tiffany actually run out of money, okay? Um, allegedly. Okay, and it's just my speculation, but, you know, keep an eye on the outfits. If they start to duplicate, because we've never seen her in the same outfit twice, right? We always saw her with her hair done up, makeup, uh, you know, done. But with all that devil's paint on her face, she still can't hide the fact that she is a hood booger. And in typical hood booger fashion, she's not paying her rent. Uh, and trying to stonewall the lady who is coming to uh, collect the rent, the landlord. She's putting that woman uh, who owns that property, she's putting her credit in jeopardy, her rental property in jeopardy because, uh, you know, she can't pay the mortgage uh, for the property if she doesn't have a paying renter in the property. Now, that's just the tip of the iceberg of what's going on with Tiffany. It's really baffling that this woman makes close to $300,000 per year, okay, and is chauffeured around town, okay, so Dalton's paying the gas, gasoline for her, right? Um, she makes a lot of money, 
and is not paying this woman for the rent. What the hell's going on there, right? Uh, trying to evade the uh, sheriff's department wants to come in and uh, serve her with papers. That woman that you saw, the property owner, she actually went to the last uh, Thornton Township board meeting. Uh, and it's just like, hey, you know, you're, you're saying your job as a supervisor to get bills paid. What about your rent? Tiffany just keeps losing. She's losing because she is operating out of selfishness. She is operating out of stupidity. She just doesn't know what the hell she's doing. And now it's coming to fruition. It's all coming back to backfire on her. Another loss that she's suffered here recently, in addition to, you know, facing eviction, is the judge sides with trustees over Hinyard in the meeting squabble. You know this whole thing about she wants to hold the meetings at Village Hall. The trustees want to hold it in an uh, environment and a venue that is more accommodating, can get more people in. Well, Tiffany took them to court. Dalton Mayor Tiffany Hinyard has lost a battle to regain some control of village board meetings. And look, it's not like who cares where the meeting is, right? If it's in the village of Dalton, who cares, right? But this is how petty she is. Hinyard filed a complaint after a majority of trustees moved the meetings to Dalton, to a Dalton Park District building to accommodate large and sometimes raucous crowds. A lot of people want to come out to these meetings because a lot of people feel they're getting the shaft as taxpaying citizens. And so you need a bigger venue, right? Well, Tiffany might want to restrict the size of the venue so that more people can't get in to protest her. In early October, Henyard was booed out of a meeting organized by trustees who were angry over her lavish spending and leadership. Henyard asked a judge to invalidate decisions made at the meeting and force them to gather at Village Hall. The trustees say the judge has sided with them and agreed that their meetings do not violate the Open Meetings Act. In fact, the trustees' meetings at this bigger venue, they are accommodating the Open Meetings Act. They are abiding by it because it allows more people in. Henyard's attorney says the judge underscored the mayor's right to run the meetings. No, the judge did not. The judge did not say anything about her right to run the meetings. He's just saying, he or she, whoever the judge is, is just saying, look, if you're going to have the meetings, you got to have them in a place where, get this, Tiffany, I know this sounds crazy, you got to have them in a place where the citizens can actually attend, all right, unobstructed. I don't get it, guys. Listen, here's the other thing. Let's go back to the rental situation real quick. So we got two adults in the house over there that they're renting from the lady, right? We got Tiffany Henyard making uh, close to $300,000 per year. And then we got Kamal Woods, who I suppose he has some, let's just say he's making 20 grand a year. Let's just lowball it, be as conservative as possible, right? How you got two adults in the home making $300,000 a year, $2,500 in rent. What's going on? I mean, really, what the hell's going on here? You weigh in, you tell me.